What's up guys, Sehaman back, and today we are gonna be taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Music Maniacs Metal. We have Ozzy Osbourne on the left, we have Alice Cooper on the right. So when these were announced, I, when, I, when I saw McFarlane's panel at WonderCon, I honestly thought these were gonna be like the movie Maniacs inside of those box packaging, pre-posed figures. These are on card packaging, which I absolutely love, and it looks like they have articulation. So these aren't pre-posed figures. These have, it looks like they might have some limited articulation. We'll, we'll see exactly when I, when I open these up. And again, I love the packaging on these. So it does read McFarlane toys up top. List, uh, the Ozzy Osbourne's limited uh, edition of 7,500 pieces. And I love the side, how it has the guitar and it reads Music Maniacs Metal. And then again, right there, Ozzy Osbourne. You come to the back and this is based off of the 2020 album Ordinary Man, that's the cover of the album there. And then it reads right here, Music Maniac. This is just a sticker right here. And there's a barcode. And then again, it says right here, limited to 7,500 pieces. I love this. I love the packaging on this. So, and they're gonna do a Rob Zombie one. I am so excited for this line. This is just very cool. And I mean, if you're an inbox collector, this is definitely a way to display your figures as well. So over here, we have Alice Cooper. So Alice Cooper, again, Music Maniacs, Alice Cooper at the bottom, limited. This one's limited to 8,000. This one's based off of the Alice Cooper Paranormal album from 2017. Again, I'm I'm just excited for these. I'm excited where they're going to take these. I, I asked McFarlane when I met him at WonderCon if he would do corn, and he said that was a good idea because you guys know he worked with them on the Freak on a Leash video and the album Follow the Leader. He did the album cover for that. But let's go ahead and open these up, guys, and let's see if this is going to be a pickup or a pass. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that come with both of these figures. So the Ozzy Osbourne one, you do have his card, which is pretty cool. It's got like almost like a glossy paint finish. And then right there, there is a certificate of authenticity. This is number 1629 out of 7,500. So it's cool that it actually has that on the back of the card. And then he also does come with a display base with two pegs on it. Let's see if that'll focus in. There we go. And nothing on the bottom, but he does come with a microphone stand. There's not a whole lot of detailing on it, but it's still pretty cool. And then this is gonna peg onto the bottom of the, the or the top of the base right here. There's an area right there. You can just peg that. Hopefully I won't break this. Oh, there we go. Wow, I think I cut myself on that one. Um, okay, so here is the microphone stand. And it, oh, this is cool. So you can actually articulate it. You can get it to go forward and back, side to side if you really wanted to. So that is, that's actually pretty cool that um, that it does that. And then he does come with some wings right there, some demon looking wings. Look at that. There's the back of them. And then here is the front and it does have a peg that's gonna peg onto Ozzy's back. Let's go ahead and bring out Ozzy Osbourne. Check that out. It does look like him in, in some, yeah, let me see. It looks like him. I think it does look like him. What do you guys think? Does it look like Ozzy Osbourne? This doesn't look bad either. He's got the open mouth. You can see the tongue. You can see the teeth. He's got his hat on. He's got a jacket. This is, uh, I think this part's all soft material. The sleeves are sculpted on. Look at that. They even included his rings on his left hand. And it does read, look at that. It does even say Ozzy on the tattoos, but he does have a ring on the ring finger. The other hand here, again, He's also sporting some rings. That is pretty cool. That's pretty cool attention to detail. And then he's got some of the buttons on his, his jacket here. And then again, you can see the cool detailing on the hair. There's a peg hole on the back. And then he's got black pants with black boots. Now again, I thought these were gonna be pre-posed figures. They're not. This is articulated. So you can rotate the head sculpt. It also goes up and down. The arms go in and out, forward and back. He's got a bend at the elbow, lower arm rotation, the hand rotates, legs, they don't go in and out, they do go forward and back. He's got a bend at the knee and nothing in the feet, but he does have peg holes at the bottom. So again, I thought these were gonna be pre-posed figures. The fact that they are articulated figures just makes this a lot better. So let's go ahead and peg on the wings and see, give them the full look. And look how great this looks, look at that. That looks awesome. This is a really, Really cool figure. There's the wings right there. They're not articulated. And then, I let me see, he does, oh, he also comes with a cane, I forgot, check that out. Let me see if I can get this to focus. He also does come with his with his cane. 
I don't know if it says anything on the handle. No, it doesn't. But it is it is kind of soft material. So it does come with some cool accessories. Alice Cooper, same thing. You get a really cool card. There he is. And then on the back, this is number 116 out of 8,000. Wow, this is actually a pretty low, low number. So there's the authenticity. He also does come with a snake. Hopefully we can get this to, to focus in. So he does have a snake there. I'll do my best to show the, the detailing on that. Look at that, that's pretty cool. So this is gonna wrap around him. There's, no, I don't think there's a bendy wire. I don't think you can straighten this thing out. So he's got that. And then again, he's got the same style base that Ozzy comes with, with the peg the pegs at the bottom of the base and the microphone, which you can you know move around, articulate. So that's what he comes with. And then Alice Cooper, so this guy right here, I would say this is a very, very good likeness to Alice Cooper. Look at that. He's got the big top hat with little like spikes on him. So you can see that. And then he's got the black curly hair, but that head sculpt right there, there it is. Look at that. Look how great that looks. It's got the paint on the face, on the lips. This definitely looks like Alice Cooper. What do you guys think? Does it look like him? You got the undershirt here, his white undershirt with red, looks like blood. It's a collared shirt, that looks great. The skull belt, how cool is that? The jacket right here, it is a soft rubber piece. And then the uh, sleeves, look. there's like a grayish color, but it looks like it has like studs all over it, like sculpted all over the, um, the sleeves and then he also he has black gloves and he's got black pants with black boots no laces on there so i would say alice cooper is definitely the better of the two i think the outfit looks great and i think the likeness on him looks just like alice cooper what do you guys think there's ozzy well first off let's do a side-by-side -side comparison what do you guys think does that look like him i think that looks like him and let's bring out ozzy really quick does that look like, I think it looks like Ozzy. Maybe the eyes might be a little bit off, but I think that looks like Ozzy. So we can put the, we give him the full look. See if I can do this correctly. I think the snake's gonna go something like, yeah, there it is, right? Something like that. And it goes right, it fits, it fits, it's sculpted perfectly for his shoulders. And the articulation is gonna be the exact same way. The head sculpt rotates, goes up and down, arms in and out, bend at the elbow, hand rotates. Lower arm rotation. Uh, oh, he has waist rotation. I don't know if I went over that with with um, Ozzy. Legs forward and back, bend at the knees. Nothing in the, I think the feet can like, no, there's nothing in the feet. But Ozzy, I believe, had waist rotation. Yeah, he's got waist rotation as well. Here they are standing on their stands. Again, I like, I like that they have a base like this where the pegs are at the, like the toe, like the front, the ball of their foot and they peg on perfectly. The mic stand, I think is a pretty good, what do you, what do you think? I think it's a pretty good distance or height with their, with the mouth. I think it looks great. I, maybe they should have colored the microphone a little bit. I think that would have made it stand out a little bit. I really like how Alice Cooper looks and I like, you know, he can hold on to the mic. Both of them can hold on to the mic. I think this is a really, really cool pose though for Alice Cooper. And again, I like the bases. I think the bases are cool. The figures stand perfectly. There's no, I don't really have any issues with them. As far as like scaling goes though, McFarlane figure, I mean, they're, the figures are way, way smaller. Look at that. Yeah, they're probably what? Five inches? Maybe, and you can keep these on card. I think they'll look great. I just wish that McFarlane would make, would bring some of these figures out with some like holders so you can stand the, the cards next to them. I think that would be a cool little addition. But other than that, I think these are fantastic figures. I think Ozzy looks great. I love the detailing with the rings. And it, these are awesome. These about this, is this a pickup? Is it a pass? Are you guys looking forward to this? I, I don't know if there's any chases on these. Again, he's gonna be doing a Rob Zombie one and I cannot wait for that one. But I do hope, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that he does make a corn one. Let me know in the comments down below what rock artist you wanna see them, him make, or not even that, just artists in general. Who do you wanna see McFarlane make? Comment down below, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Later.